question. Do you know what the leading cause of death for men and women in the United States is? Hello, it's Amy from Be Healthy Enough and doing what I love to do, sharing my knowledge and experience to inspire you to find what being healthy enough means to you. Happy Heart Health Month or Wear Red Day. <laughs> when I was researching ideas to share with you this month, I was shocked at the statistics I found on heart disease. Did you know it's the leading cause of death for men and women in the United States? I did not know that. Every year, one in four deaths are caused by heart disease. So it's good news that February is National Heart Health Month, since it's a great time to remind you or inspire you to make some positive lifestyle changes. <laughs> Here are the top six I found to make your heart happy and healthy. Tip number one, stop smoking. No if, ands, or buts. Duh. I'm not even going to say anything else about this one because it's just so stupid. Stop smoking. Number two, manage your stress. Easier said than done, right? Here are a few fun ideas I found to help manage your stress. How about knitting a scarf? Putting your hands to work to help your mind un unwind is a great way to relieve stress. Knitting, sewing, crocheting. Doing things um, like painting, woodworking, jewelry all count and are good for your ticker. <laughs> Did you also know that laughing can lower your stress hormones? I didn't know that. Don't just LOL in emails or Facebook posts. Laugh out loud daily if you can. Whether you're watching a funny movie or cracking jokes with your friends, laughter is good for your heart. According to the American Heart Association, research suggests that um, laughing can lower the stress hormones. It can also decrease inflammation in your arteries and raise your HDL, also known as your good cholesterol. Wow, I had no idea. Okay, here's the joke. Why did the gym close down? It wasn't working out. Ha ha ha, I'm sorry, that was terrible. Another tip, all right, another tip to manage your stress is to stretch it out. Yoga or any stretching not only helps your balance, your flexibility, and your strength, it also helps you relax and it can relieve stress. That was tip two. This is tip number three. Move it, move it, move it, as if you didn't say, I think I'd say that one. I keep hearing from all of the experts that sitting is the new smoking. So if you find yourself at your desk or sitting for hours and on end, here are some fun ways to get moving and help your heart this month. Just go for a stroll on your lunch break or whenever you get 30 minutes. 30 minutes is amazing for your physical and mental health. How about dancing? Let the music move you. Get up and dance like nobody is watching, right? How about kicking your housework up a notch? Put on your favorite music and add some pep in your step while you complete all of those weekly chores. Or how about being a kid? Fitness does not have to be boring. Let your inner child take the lead by enjoying roller skating, bowling. How about laser tag? Have any of you guys tried laser tag? I've never tried that before. How about some HIT or what they call high intensity interval training? During this type of training, you alternate between boosts of really high intense physical activity with bouts of lower activity. And the Mayo Clinic reports that this type of exercise boosts the number of calories you burn and it's less stressful on your body than steady state exercise. This month I released two heart pumping cardio workouts. You can go to my webpage at BeHealthyEnough.com or you can sign up for my newsletter or you can try all of my workouts for free for seven days. I have a seven day free trial. And also a move it, move it, move it tip is to pump some iron. Yes, aerobic activity is a good way to keep your heart healthy, but it's really not the only exercise you should be doing. It's important to include regular strength training into your cardio schedule during the week. The more muscle mass you build, the more calories you're gonna burn, and that can help you maintain a heart healthy weight and fitness level. I also have a many, dozens of strength training workouts because I know it's so important for us women over 50. And I also this month gonna make some of those free. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook so you, you know when those are free. Tip number four, my favorite. How about some red wine and chocolate? I bet you didn't think I'd say this one, right? 
moderate, again, moderate consumption of alcohol can help raise the levels of HDL or that good cholesterol. It can also help prevent blood clot formation and artery damage. The Mayo Clinic suggests that red wine in particular is the better alcohol of choice. Adding some dark chocolate and you have a guilt-free dessert that contains heart-healthy flavonoids. And these are compounds that can help reduce inflammation and lower your risk of heart disease. Oh, and those oversweetened milk chocolate does not count. I have the best recipe for a flourless chocolate tort that uses dark chocolate. It's super easy to make. The recipe's on my website, and I'm also gonna try to film uh, make me making that recipe this month if I try if I can make it. Tip number five, spice it up and skip the salt. According to an article I read just recently in the New England Journal of Medicine, if the entire U.S. reduced its average, just average salt intake by just a half a teaspoon a day, it would significantly cut the number of people who develop coronary heart disease. Instead of reaching for salt, try using spices such as oregano, cayenne, ginger, thyme, allspice. These all contain concentrated doses of antioxidants, which help fight inflammation. Plus, they taste amazing and can liven up any dish without salt. Okay, stay tuned. Another action item this month. I'm hoping to film a lemon chicken recipe that doesn't use salt this week with my husband. I have so much to share with you guys. And lastly, tip number six. Brush your teeth regularly. I didn't know this until recently. Good oral hygiene does more than keep your teeth white and glistening. According to the Cleveland Clinic, some research suggests that bacteria, the bacteria that can cause gum disease can also raise your risk of heart disease. Go see your dentist. That's it. If you found a fun, heart-healthy lifestyle change, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from what you're doing for your heart this month. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, check out my website, or follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm gonna be offering some free workouts this month. Have a wonderful heart month, and I'll see you in the next video.